Hey guys, this is the seventh part of the building design using ETABS course. So in this part, we will see how to interpret the analysis result of the ETABS. If you haven't done the previous part, do them first. And after that, we can, we can uh, watch this particular video. So uh, to start with, this is the particular thing which we had done. We had applied We've done the modeling part, applied lows, then run the analysis using this button. And as soon as you run the analysis, you can see this, the other keys are locked. So we're going to see what are the uh, analysis results here. So first of all, we don't want this particular wind panels to show in our view. So we can, we can individually select the views and go to view and uh, go to set display options here and make the walls here and uh, so we're going to remove the walls from all the views because we are going to study the analysis results. So from this particular elevation view and remaining a plan view, we'll just go to our view, set display options, make the walls. Now, now we can study the analysis results. So we've already done the, the perform or run analysis option. And uh, now what we're going to do is we are going to see the effect. So you have this option here, show deformed shape, just click on this. And uh, first of all, you're going to see the effects of the dead load. And uh, you can remember that whatever the window you choose, the effect will be shown on that. So let's select like the elevation view. And uh, after that, uh, go to this option of your show deformed shape. Or let's go for dead load. We'll select wire shadow and click on apply. So you can see the effect here. Just click on OK just to check here. See the effect here. The you can see the deflections here. So similarly in 3D view also, if you want to see, you can just select the 3D view and then you can just go here and case dead where shadow apply. So like this, as you can see, the loads is causing the deflection from bottom to top. You hover over any line, it will show you the uh, particular values of the deflection. So you can see that the red load is acting from top to, uh, you know, bottom. So, so the reflection is like this. So the similar case will be for the live load, as you can see here. And uh, let's see for the live load and click on apply. So this is the live load. As you can see the deflection for the live load is less. You can see it for the 3D view as well. Like, okay, so this is the deflection for the live load. So let's see the deflection and the 3D view for our seismic load in X direction apply. So as you can see, this is the uh, deflection and the Y direction apply. So this is the seismic load deflection here. Uh, let's see in the elevation view something interesting we'll see here. Let's click on apply here. So this is the deflection for the seismic load in the Y direction and the wind load and let's see the window deflection for the 3d view as well so this is the wind load for the x plus and the wind load for the y minus so you can see this for the elevation view as well for the y minus x plus so these are the things which you can see from the analysis results and also another thing maybe interesting thing you can see uh, in case of the seismic load if we just let's go to foundation uh, view and just uh, let's let me click on apply here so the it's on just go to the top as you see as you further go to the top you can see the deflection is increasing in this side so you can see it in 3d as well the more you go up the deflection increases because the load is a lateral load the higher you go the more load is applied so in case of tall buildings and the high-rise building the effect of the lateral load like seismic load and wind load is more so this we have learned from this analysis results and uh, we will just look into the deflection so uh if you have an option of your display and you know this have this option of story response plots in just uh, bring it here and uh, just maximize this uh, story response plot here so that you can see it properly. So suppose you want to say, check the displacement of 
so this is this is my bottom story and top story selected and i want to check the deflection from let's say uh, your earthquake load so slx plus so this is the deflection due to slx plus and then let's see here let's check the wind load so this is the deflection for the sly plus and uh, here an interesting thing uh, the maximum displacement it will be noted in here so if you want to check for the maximum displacement you can check from here so it is 